Hello everybody, this is Stranger Things back to finally kick off the tournament. And yes, we are going to do round one for group A. So yes, for those of you that are new to this kind of tournament, I will quickly explain how it will work. So for, so each video during the group stage, it will be three matches, as, as seen by the schedule here. And in this video, we will be doing group A, and then the next one will be group B, C, D, and then etc and etc. So that's how the videos will work. And yes, if I do sound a bit, ooh, that's because <laughs> just recovered from food poisoning. It's terrible, terrible. But yeah, I'm feeling up the snuff now. I'm feeling up to up to the task. So yes, in this video, we will see Ghidorah taking on Cerno Strongest Theory, Engineer Gaming going up against Michaela, and then Yamazanadu going up against the hosts. And without further ado, let's go on with our first matchup. And before we do get on with our first matchup, I should mention how this group stage thing will work so yes you'll play you'll play each guy once top three will go through and then five of the four best five yeah five of the best fourth place teams will also go through and you will get three points for a win one point for a draw nothing for a loss bonus points can be applied can be uh, acquired by doing the following you'll get one bonus point if you beat your opponent and have at least two dinosaurs left you will get a bonus point if you win 3-0. Well, you get two bonus points if you if you win 3-0. And you will get a losing bonus point if you lose, but your opponent is down to their last dino, and that dino's health is below half. Okay, so now, now that that's all explained out of the way, let's get on with our first matchup, which sees Ghidorah going up against Cerno Strongest Theory. Alrighty then, in the red corner we have a Shantungasaurus. Representing Team Ghidorah here, this Shantungasaurus is quite the powerhouse, being the attack type as well, which will help it out because it does go into this matchup with a type disadvantage. So I think getting off a crit will definitely help it. In the blue corner for our debutant Cerno, we have a Eustreptus Fondalus. Cerno having two possible, well, possibly having a type advantage over Ghidorah's whole team. And, if they can get off a quick start, there could be an upset on the cards. Mm. I don't know, well, again, the, the, remember the matchup where a certain someone had the type advantage over this guy's whole team and it didn't matter? Of course, I will say he did get really lucky. Ooh, good start, best possible start for CERN over here. A bite in wind off the bat and this will do some damage. Yeah, look at that. That's pretty much a hit. That would pretty much be a crit from the shant. Oh, that's a tie. Ties don't really favour either combatants because neither of them have moves to take advantage of ties. Oh, the shant went for the crit. You strep the spondylist said no. And what a start this is from Cerno. A cyclone as well. Yeah. The type advantage is is an absolute killer. But you get the hit, it's an absolute killer. Tell you what though, the shank does get off a hit, but... Yeah, look at that. Hardly a scratch. The nature's blessing, which... Well, will save it from dying in a tie. Yeah, look at this. You've stripped the Spondylus have got off two hits, and look how much health is taken away. The Shant has got off two hits, and look how much health it's taken away. Look at the difference. It's, it's astonishing, the difference here. Although, the Shant does have more focus on the crit, which is why it didn't do as much damage with those other two moves. And unsurprisingly, to be honest, the Shantungasaurus bites the big one. So, no, looking pretty good. Like, as I said, that was an even matchup, because they both got off two hits. But Cerno made better use of this. I mean, not that as they are the type of advantage as well, which makes a huge, which can make a huge difference. Of course, this Spinosaurus for Ghidorah does not have any moves, which could come back to haunt them, or it could pay off handsomely. Ooh, a tail smash, and yeah, this tail smash will do a lot more damage to the Eustreptus Spondylus than those moves from the Shant. Actually, now that I think about it, it could pay off in this matchup because Cerno's second dino is a lightning dinosaur. 
but it will not have the type advantage over this Spino because the Spino does not have any super moves. So, while Cerno does get off a quick start, two quick hits from the Spino defeats you strip the spawn the less. So right now it's pretty even actually, although Ghidorah's got off four hits and Cerno has got off two, so Cerno has been a lot more clinical. You know, it shows the difference in the type advantage. But yep, Cerno second dino is the toy mini king. But I suspect that Mini King will not be toying around in this match. Oh, that's a tie. Uh, no, it doesn't look like ties favour anybody. If anything, I'd probably say maybe Mini King. Okay, maybe the Spino, actually. Oh, well, that'll definitely favour the Spinosaurus getting off a hit. And Ghidorah, for the first time in this match, has taken the lead. Yes, I know they were both paper, but <laughs> I clicked scissors accidentally. But it did matter, it was a tie. Ooh. Ooh, Mini King gaining some health back. It's a happy pudding. Oh, look at him, he like wagged his tail. Oh. Um, I don't think that was as much health as I was expecting, to be honest. And yes, I do have like I do have a video showing which food moves are best on which dinosaurs. If you want to check that out. Which I don't think this guy... I don't think Cerno watched that video. Ooh, but... Mini King striking back! Well, it's quite an even contest so far. Ooh, but the Spino's getting off the light recovery. And it's going to get off the hit to take out Mini King. And give Ghidorah a slight lead. Speaking of Crowl Officeruses... As for Cerno's third dino, we have a cryo. Well, it could have been disastrous for Ghidorah if, 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 if you stripped the Spondylus got off more hits. Ghidorah could have been in a bit of trouble, but he has managed to take a lead and not having super moves has worked so far in this match. Although, as I said, Ghidorah has got off way more hits than Cerno. I think Mini King got off two hits, and the Eustrepto got off two hits. Ooh, the Cryo striking back, though. Oh, come on, I thought I would have taken it out. Oh, there's a bonus point win for Ghidorah. Yep, that's a bonus point win for Ghidorah, the Spinosaurus, looking quite impressive, and despite the impressive start from Cerno, I think that Spino definitely did made the difference. If it had, if it had the, the, the water moves, then I think Cerno would have still been in the match with Mini King. But having no moves, super moves has definitely paid off there, as Ghidorah gets a bonus point win to kickstart the tournament. Right, on to our next matchup. Alrighty then, in the red corner for Engineer Gaming, we have an Acrocanthosaurus. So yes, prepare for the lag and audio potato-ness. Because we're using fire dinosaurs, and it always seems to happen when we use a fire dinosaur. Okay, in the blue corner for our David and Michaela, we have a Lexovasaurus. Do not underestimate the power of this beast. That Quake Saber can definitely do some damage. And look at it. This Lexovasaurus is not to be trifled with. Engineer Gaiman will have to watch his toes here. And uh, yeah, I don't know who's going to win. Who I think will win this matchup. Seems a fairly even contest. Ooh. Lexovasaurus opening up with the first pet. And it's a mole attack. Good start there from Lexovasaurus and an Earth Barrier as well. Good start from Michaela there. Well, there goes the Earth Barrier, but they won't mind that. The Acro does get off a hit, but again, the Earth Barrier will limit the damage. Ooh, 
a big crit coming. Is this curtains for Acro? No, it's not. And it will. It would have been if it had Quake Saber. A strong start from Michaela, yeah. Oh, it's the tag team! It's the tag team! And, and yes, I know, I know, I don't mind. Give me a break, alright? I've been sick for a past day or so. Give me a break. Well, it didn't matter anyway, because the tag team was coming in here to save the acro from going down. But, you can't deny, Lexovasaurus is on top. Ooh. However, the acro has got its first hit. And it's getting off a flare sword. Well, its first proper hit, because it got off a hit before, but Earth Barrier pretty much stopped it from dealing too much damage. But yeah, look at that. Acro not dead and buried yet. Engineer Gaming fighting his way back. Ooh, that's a tie. Not good for the Acro because it will die in that tie. And the Quake Saber is going to be triggered. Which, thankfully, for Engineer Gaming's sake, he doesn't have a Lightning Dinosaur. But as for his second dino, he has the Panoplosaurus. Panoplosaurus, quite a decent dinosaur. Could be one, could be one to watch in his team. Well, first things first, it has to take out this Lexovasaurus without getting hit by that Quake Saber. Oh, it's a tie! Okay, that's good, that's good for Engineer this. Stopping that Quake Saber was key. Yes, and the Lexovasaurus has gone down. Alright, as for Makeda's second dino, we have a Giganonosaurus. This Giganonosaurus also packs a powerhouse of a crit. Magma Blaster there. Very, very solid. Very, very effective as well. And I think this Giga is Hunter type as well, so it will get an immediate power boost because the Panoptosaurus does have slightly less HP. Ooh, not anymore though. Engineer Gaming, for the first time in this match, has taken the lead. But the Magma Blaster has been triggered. Yeah, making sure that Magma Blaster doesn't activate there going for rock. Very clever from the Panoplosaurus. Even though it has a smallish brain. And well, after a promising start, Engineer Gaming, I feel like has turned the screw on this match. Yeah, look at this. Panoplosaurus cleaning, ha cleaning house. And it will have a tight advantage over Michaela's third dino, which is a lightning one. Well, a promising start there, but Engineer Gaming has turned it around. Alright, that's Michaela's third dino. We have a Super Taurosaurus. It's going to take a super effort from this Taurosaurus to turn this match around. And honestly, I'd probably say Engineer Gaming in prime position to get a bonus point. Ooh, I tell you what, though. A crit from the Taurosaurus? Okay, I need to double check the awake mode real quick. Three and two. I tell you what, even though it has the type disadvantage, the Taurosaurus is still dealing some damage. Shame on me for counting for the Makeda out of this matchup. Okay, that's a tie. Ooh, a Gatlin Spark. And all of a sudden, the Panoplosaurus, Engineer Gaming's lead, has dissipated. Panoplosaurus gone despite having that type advantage. Although the fact that those two hits were crits definitely helped the Taurosaurus. Alright, as for Engineer Gaming's third dino, we have a Super Carifasaurus. The Awaken mode will be triggered on two. I, sh I should really make a note of it. What all the awaken modes to be honest i'll probably do that after i record this video after i finish this video yeah <laughs> it wasn't very oh just let's just get back to the match Ooh, big 
big hit. Oh, oh, it's Dino Force, I forget. Um, <laughs> I lost my track there. It's Dino Force incoming. <laughs> I didn't mess it up, I didn't mess it up. This is going to do some big damage. Kurifasaurus does have an impressive crit. Well, come on, get the attack over with. We know the Taurosaurus is going to take some major damage. Look at that. But it is awakening time for the Tauro. Oh, it didn't get that! It didn't get that! Although, I don't think this Skydive is going to kill it. Well, it shouldn't. So, the Kayla not out of it yet. But that was a big opportunity missed. Speaking of awaken mode, it's time for Creeposaurus to waken up. Oh, it's a tie! But the tie will be enough to secure the win for Engineer Gaming. Oh, big moment that could have been if the Taurosaurus got off the hit there. Well, Michaela would have at least got a losing bonus point, but unfortunately it didn't, so... Engineer Gaming starting his campaign with a win. Right, now on to the matchup. Well, which I, I'm sure you're all looking forward to because it is ya Yamazanadu taking on the tournament host, Stranger. All right, then. It's always nervous anticipation when I'm featuring in one of these matches. But, yeah, in the red corner for Yamazanadu, we have a Gojirasaurus. Yamazanadu sh should really fancy the champ. Go away, Steve. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yamazama do should really fancy their chances in this match because I have a very poor record on the opening matches of my tournament and I seem to lose all of them. Lost the last two, I might point out. But in the blue corner, we have the Mega Raptor. And I'm hoping that we can get... Hoping we can do... Break that losing duct. But it's, it's going to be a tough matchup. I feel like Yamazama do is going to do well in this tournament. But we'll just have to see, won't we? After all, one match does not dictate how your tournament goes. Unless it's in the knockout round, then it kind of does, because then if you lose, you're going home. <laughs> in which case, that match, one match does dictate how your tournament goes. Ooh, the opening crit from the Gojirasaurus. Jack Shuriken should activate. Oh, it doesn't. Mm, that's a su I'm actually surprised. Oh, the Mega Raptor got off the hit. No ninja attack from Gojirasaurus there. Mega Raptor striking back. An even start so far. But the Gojirasaurus strikes back, gets off another attack boost, and surely it has to get off Jet Shuriken. Yeah, surely it has to get it off. I would have been shocked if I did. I would have been shocked if it didn't. A good start from Yamazama, do there. Ooh, but. But a tornado toss, and I think, given Negaraptor's powerful crit, is going to kill the Gojirasaurus. Very clinical here from our host. Well, technically, we've both got off two hits, but yeah, no surprise there. And the crit block, anyway, not that I need it. But the Negaraptor is hanging on by a thread as this Super Talaros comes in. The awake mode on free. And that is also the same for Yamazamadu's third dive. But yeah, that good Jurosaurus was pretty good. I was very impressed by it, but yes. It's a narrow lead for our host. Well, keyword, narrow. And so far, it's the Mega Raptor that's made better use of their hits. Oh, good. Could be a crucial hit. That could be from Tararurus. Didn't really want to tank any hits from the Mega Raptor. And got off the attack boost as well, so Super Talarus will be set up nicely. However, here comes the wild card of the team. Like, this is either going to go amazingly well or amazingly horrific. But yes, we have a Kamarasaurus. A Thai specialist is an understatement when you describe this guy. If an ocean panic activates, it could help Stranger turn the screw on this match. And pretty much take control. Oh, there's the ties. 
There's the ocean panic. There's the tie attack. Just what Stranger wants. Here comes ocean panic. Um, I think, yeah, no, no, none yet. Oh, it didn't get off the shockwave though, so that could be key. That could be very, that could be vital. Oh, it's another tie though, and it's another ocean panic. Oh, this is going swimmingly, literally. The camera saw us showing no mercy. And I suspect the shockwave effect will activate this time, which means this Talaros is dead. There's the shockwave effect. That guarantees that Talaros is dead. Because I will be going rock. And they will be going, you can't go pay fair, you gotta go rock. Yeah, that's Talaros dead and Stranger has taken the lead. And they we will have the type advantage against this super Eocarcaria. Wow, that is devastating. Two ocean panics basically killed. That is devastating. But like if it had the softening beam, those two ties would have killed Talaros. The power of Camarasaurus there, coming through. Although, do not count the Amazama do out yet, because they do have that death fire. So they can easily snatch this match away. Oh, it's another tie! But no ocean panic this time, but ties definitely favour Stranger now. Ooh, a much needed hit from the Eocar. It doesn't have Flare Sword, so yeah. Won't get off a Flare Sword because it doesn't have it. Okay, I'll see once. Another time! But no Ocean Panic, and oh yeah, this Eocarp does have Heat Eruption as well, so what's my advantage could be theirs too. But yes, yeah, a much needed hit from Eocarcaria to get back, get Yamazamadu back in the match. Alright then, as for Stranger's third dino, we have the Deinonychus. Secret to Kuyo. Actually, sh uh, should I point out that I've literally only got two hits in this whole match? <laughs> I'm somehow winning. Amazing, isn't it? Like, oh, sh the ties don't count as hits, but they're basically hits for me because of how ties specialising I've made for Camera Source. And this guy's got off one, two, three, four hits, so he's got off twice as many hits. It's clinical. Just clinical. Actually, they got off another hit, yeah. Ooh, Deinonychus getting the first hit. Boosh. Ooh, no death fire being triggered. Okay, that's twice. One more and it's awakened time for Eocarcaria, which could be just what it needs. Alright, it doesn't have to fear ties anymore. Ties favour the Eocarc. And that will favour Eokark. Yamazamadu could snatch this match with the Awaken mode. Oh, the, the, the Deinonychus getting the hit. But I think Deathfire is going to get triggered. Yeah, Deathfire is getting triggered. Yeah, it all comes down to this. It all comes down to this. I mean, Light Recovery is going to do nothing. Oh my god, it all comes down to this. This would be one hell of a smash and grab for Yamazana do if they can get this hit off. Oh, they got it! Come on, that's ridiculous. Like, it, overall, they have got more hits off than me in this matchup. I think I got two hits off. Yeah, I've got four hits off and they've got off. Oh, Deathfire snatching the match! You know what? I don't mind that. I don't mind that. I mean... I had some really good luck with the Ocean Panic, and I feel like if I got off another Ocean Panic on the Eocarc, that would have done it, but no, I don't mind that. That was, a good, that was a good game. And it's not doom and gloom for our host, because he will get a losing bonus point, so you never know how crucial that could be. So yeah, let's check the table thingy, and we'll end the session. I think I called it from the start. If there was any way I was going to lose that matchup, it was going to be the Deathfire. And they had two opportunities to kill the Deinonychus. And obviously failed the first one. Maybe if I had got off a spinning attack instead, I could have killed the Eocarc area. But, you know, it is what it is. But that was definitely a good match. I I feel like even though that I got off less hits than they did, I felt like I was on top. And I was pretty much on top for most of that matchup. Until the Deathfire. And yeah, <laughs> might be regretting allowing its use already. 
<laughs> but no, it is what it is. As long as you have Deathfire in your, in your moveset, you've always got a chance to win. And, you know, they just got lucky and got off the Deathfire. Can't really complain. But yeah, that's hopefully will be the last time I have to face a Deathfire in this tournament. <laughs> but yeah, very good win for Ghidorah there. Getting the bonus point. Topping Group A. Yamazanadu getting very lucky with a death fire, smashing, snatching a win out against our host. And then we have Engineer Gaming getting a deserved win over over Michaela. Although Michaela did put up a good fight there, put up a really good fight. So yes, some feistly competitive matches so far. And these and Michaela in particular had a good start. Kind of unlucky to lose, maybe. But Engineer Gaming did turn the screw a bit. And Cerno Strongest Theory didn't quite happen for it. Poor sod. But yes, round two should be interesting for Group A, as we will see Michaela going up against Yamazanadu. And then the big one, Ghidorah taking on our host, Stranger Gamer. And Sir then Cerno Strongest Theory going up against Engineer Gaming. But that's going to be a while yet, because we've got all these buggers to get through. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe to make sure you don't miss out any tournament matches in the future. And stay tuned for next time where we will kick off Group B. And until then, this is Stranger Gamer signing out.